Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where I've been thinking about this old job I've got here that I picked up off the notice board. What kind of establishment are they running exactly? When, um... When they run out of food, they just sort of post a, a notice on the board saying, oh, if anyone could spare some food, could you please, like, just turn up with some and then we'll have more food available. Like, you would think they would have suppliers and things of that nature set up so that you wouldn't have to do that. Not that I am complaining, because it's easy money and all that, but, you know, I'm just confused, shall we say. Anyway, this looks like an alchemy store, so I'm going to have a little poke around inside here. Might be some useful stuff for sale. And, alchemy reagents. and an alchemy table, yes. All right, so. Hello. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? What? I've got something for that. Um, I, I mean, I feel fine, but um, so so you're a healer? Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls. I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. You uh, ever think of returning to Cyrodiil? That seems like a really rude question. You know, just walk up to an, an immigrant and ask him if... Ah, do you ever think about returning back to where you came from? That's just not... No, let's not ask that. Um, I'd like training in alchemy. I would. But I wouldn't be able to afford it. What you got for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Yes. Sure. That's 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 what I am. Ooh, you've got an alembic and all sorts of stuff. Alma ears. Don't even want to know how you got your hands on them. Um. And there was always a part of me that was very. Very disappointed to learn that Dragon's Tongue was just a type of flower and not, you know, a slightly more literal Dragon's Tongue. Uh, da -da -da, what else you got? Lunar Moth Wing. Mortar and Pestle. That would be useful if I ever had the money for it. Um, is there anything I can sell you? Ah! My Potion of Resist Poison. Yes. Uh, aside from that, I have a lot of stuff now. I, I, it occurs to me. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. So if I just go over here and use this, yeah. Let's have a look then. Oh my day! Right, here's the thing. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. I read in a book once that the best way to figure out what alchemy ingredients actually do is by chowing down on them a little bit. So let's take a bite out of everything. Uh, not, a, not a very generally speaking advisable philosophy to have, especially when you're biting into nightshade. Um, but uh, in this case, leave the salt alone. The salt is valuable. Um, oh goodness me! Okay, right. Let's maybe. Whoo! <laughs> Let's maybe not try all of the alchemy ingredients at once ever again. That was an experience. Um, but, but oh, look! See, I'm glowing. I'm I'm not in the nice way either. Um, however, I have now discovered a bunch of effects. So um, here we go. Lots of restore stamina. That's good. Some restore magicka. Feel like some restore health, but. Oh, fortify two-handed. That is very specific. If there's anything I and there's this magic. I think if I'm, if I'm ever in a position where I need to actually use resist magic, I might be screwed. But hey. And a poison. Now, poisons. Poisons, now that's something that I could really use to my advantage. Do let me know if I, can I be might not service. know half the time which end of an axe to swing at people, but if I cover it in poison, I might actually get somewhere. Um, all right, well, thank you very much, Arcadia. I'll be on my way. Actually, no. Yeah, I've got... Ah, 
Do you want to so buy some of these? Then. Let's see. I, I don't really... See, um, I did label this Potion of Fortify two-handed, but I really should warn you, it also, um... It also resists fire damage. It's sort of a two-for-one deal thing, you know? Very good. With 20 each, actually. It's not bad. Um... And you can, I'll, I think, shall I hold on to the rest? 4% of magic. So, ah, you know what, you can have these two. <laughs> Good day. Yeah, this is what you get when you have an alchemy skill of, uh, oh, let's see, um, two. Yes. I'm, I'm a strong believer in faking it till you make it, at least when it comes to the science of alchemy. Nothing of our struggles, hey, our look, suffering. people talking, Nothing. and not to themselves what for once. Hmm? What of Thoral? Is he nothing? So don't talk to some fresh us. baked loaves now that I think about it. Your son chose his side and Excuse me. Chose poorly, and and now he's gone. Hello, Such friend. Ah, uh, oh, you got to sell. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. By which you mean vegetables. Okay. Trinkets, is it? Salt. Rather expensive salt at that. Um, hey, look at me. I got 113 gold now. <laughs> Mr. Moneybags! Yeah, well, that'll buy me three ales with a bit of change left over. Um, uh, let's see. I need fish. Actually, I need butter. I need butter. You may not know this about me, but I am actually quite an accomplished cook. And I've got lots of crab legs in my bag that I wish to cook. And in order to do that, I'm going to need some butter. And butter is annoyingly difficult to find. Let me know if you need anything. Take a seat by the fire and send someone else. You want a drink? Oh, my goodness. I just walked in. No, I'm fine, thanks. Now, please. For now. No more questions. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rory. Not gonna bother with the instrument I side of things. Okay. But then he went quiet. Um, with answers comes knowledge. But with knowledge comes ignorance. Right, you sound very wise, but I can tell you're not a wizard because you don't have a pointy hat. Which officially means you're just some burke in a bathrobe. As the brave last Matilda charged in it's very important having a wizard's hat, you know. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Um. Where can I learn about more about magic? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. Um. They keep to that college in Winterhold. Oh. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. Right. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. You're, you're that kind of person. Okay. Um, well, um, I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Uh, boun bounty letter. I, I was, I was really thinking something more along the lines of, um, I don't know, the Jarl needs a nice bouquet for his wife and could really do with someone going out and collecting some flowers or something. I don't like the look he's giving me. Um, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Right. Okay. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thanks. Well met, kinsman. <coughs> oh, he's, he's being, oh, he's being something? quite polite at least, unless he's talking to someone else. <sighs> okay. Face full of racist ass right now. Uh, okay. Oh hey, look at this. It's quite a nice room. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, is this cheese compliments of the house? I'm gonna say yeah. At least I would if I could. Okay, that sixth sense is telling me again that if I pick up that cheese, I'm going to be in a world of trouble. Um. Oh, uh, hello. We're not... 
sharing this room, are we? Because that's not really what I had in mind. I'll leave you alone. Um, okay. Uh, great. Well. Uh, she looks pretty scary. Let's not talk to her. Um, seats are taken here. Um, well, this place is a bit... Um, let's just say the mood is not very high at the moment in here. Maybe people just want to be left alone. Drink to our youth today. That's fair enough, I think. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to eat the... Actually, that's a good point. I'm not going to eat the butter. I've got a better idea. Um, can I use this? Nobody seems to be objecting, so I'm going to say yes. Uh, let's see. Steamed mud crab legs. That's what I want. Well, I've got more. There's plenty more crab legs where that came from, but I need more butter, so... Uh, salmon steaks, yes. That's all I've got ingredients for for now, but, uh, salmon steaks and crab legs. They're brain food, friends. They are brain food. Look at that. Magic increased by 20 points for 1,200 seconds. That might seem like a lot. And you'd be right. But, um... You see, that's why actually eating food and not, you know, starving to death is important. Um, okay. I mean, they do say having a good breakfast at the start of the day is a good thing. They're not lying. Right. This is also why wizards eat a lot. In case you were wondering. Let's turn in for the night. What is it? Nothing. I was just about to remark on how nice it is to be ushering in the new day. What a lovely morning, etc., etc. Excuse me? What? Who? something I'm supposed to deliver. Twelve people all talking to me at once. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, thanks. What on earth did he give me? Uh, not the bounty for bandits. Although, let's have a look at that. By order of Balgruf the Greater. To all able-bodied men and women of Whiterun, the bandits located in Halted Stream Camp have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. Preventus Avenici. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll file that one under, um, uh, to be dealt with at a future date. Very far into the future, in fact. Oh, notice on festivities. The Isles of Skyrim have decreed that celebrations may be held throughout the land again due to the end of the Civil War. Let us now put aside our differences and come together with bellies full of mead. Oh, is it like an anniversary or something? Oh, hey, look, look, they've got flags out and everything. When did they manage to get that done? I'm, I'm, I'm up pretty early, you know. Must be an anniversary. Anyway, um... Right, um, well, somewhere out there, there's a there's a rabbit with my name on it. But uh, I was thinking I might, well, pick some more flowers, obviously, clearly. But um, I was also thinking I might um, go find this Jarl's wizard. So I'm assuming he's up there in the, uh, the large wooden building, which I assume is some sort of palace. Municipal building of some description. Um, it's very grand, I've, I've got to say. I, I do approve. I, I, it's pretty awesome, actually. I mean, and in the traditional sense of the word, too, I should say. I should add. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of gigantic. And, uh, yeah, don't don't stare at the nude statue. People will think you're weird. Um. Wow. What a lovely sunrise. Okay, anyway, so. Right. Dragon's Reach. Excellent name. Excellent name. If I do say so. And I do. Otherwise I wouldn't have said so. Oh, crumbs is massive on the inside too. Uh... 
That sounds like a very inane statement off the, off the top of your head, but uh, you'd be surprised how many buildings in Tamriel are the wrong size on the inside. Look at that, though. That is big. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Hmm. Who's this fella? An adventurer. I see. He looks tough. Um. Now there you go. That's a wi that's a wizard. You can tell he's a wizard because he's got the hat. Right. Excuse me, sir. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Do I look like a great warrior? Um. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am. Yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Sure, I could always use the cash, I guess, so... Yeah. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Right, yeah, sure. You think you're so great with your pointy hat. Um, what are the duties of a court wizard? I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. Oh. I advise the Yarl <laughs> in matters of magic. If the hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. Well, that was a bit rude. Wizards being rude. And a bit up themselves. Whatever next. Whatever next. Man, if I ever if I ever graduate from the College of Winterhold and earn my pointy hat, I do so solemnly vow right now to try my very, very best not to be like that. Ah anyway. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books and my spells. Well, at least that we can agree on. Um, where can I learn more about magic? Hint, hint. A prospective student, are you? Yes. Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Great. There's <sighs> one wizard in the entire hold, and he doesn't really feel like teaching. Good. Well, I was going to try and get to the college anyway, but... I like you even less now, Mr. Farangar. Ah, you have anything hmm. for sale? I had you figured Oh, did you really? I think you'll appreciate this. What have we got? 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 8. Adept Robes of Restaur- 10,000 got what? <sighs> okay. Master robes of disturb. Oh, why you want twenty three thousand? Who buys this stuff, dude? There's there's such a thing as pricing yourself out of the market. Um. The real Baron Zaya, Volume Twelve, unabridged. Ooh, the unabridged version. Saucy. Um. <clears throat> I don't know how. I uh, don't ask me how I know that. Um. Scrolls, scrolls, um, more scrolls, spell tomes, alarm. 120 seconds alerts you when an enemy crosses the 165 foot perimeter. Oh. I'm trying to think of a scenario in which that would be useful. I'm not coming up with one. Um, dispel magic, dispels all magical effects except diseases on friends and foes. Definitely more useful. Scroll of Thought Steel. Equip the spells the target has equipped. Last for 120 seconds or until unequipped. That's a peculiar one, isn't it? That's interesting, though. Perilous Path. Lay down a spike barrier that lasts 10 seconds and randomly staggers enemies moving through the spikes. My goodness. We have quite the selection of stuff here, don't we? Um, Long Stride? While concentrating, grants 22% movement speed and 25 carry weight tripled when out of combat. Ooh. 
Who needs a horse when you can cast long stride, right? Interesting. Prepare for adventure. Creates a basic, uh, creates a set of basic enchanted mage items, robe, circlet, boots, destru destruction staff. Circlet, I'm sorry, circlet. Why not hat? Ugh, whatever. Um, I suppose the assumption is you already have a hat if you're casting this. Um, in your inventory for 180 seconds. Is that it, really? Just three minutes. Wait. Yeah, three minutes. What happens when it runs out? Are you suddenly naked? Um, that's an interesting one. Azure Reconstruction. Expend 22 stamina per second to heal the damage conjured minion. Interesting. All wonderfully esoteric. Uh, I can't afford any of it, of course. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. That was the plan. Um... Come to Dragon's kind of Reach notice. to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. You have an enchanting table over there, and it's even complete with the uh, with the necessary horn skull and wax candles. I approve greatly. I really do, actually. You've, you've nailed it. Um, but uh, how do you enchant weapons and armor? Ah, students of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. Mm -hmm. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. Isn't it marvelous? Look at the thing. Of course, not a well-known fact, this, but um, you don't actually need the skull and the uh, and the green ball and the candles at all. Really, all you you could get a, you could get by with a bit of cardboard with the uh, the correct symbols scrawled into it, really. But um, you know, it's all about the it's all about the appearance with wizardry. You see, when it, when it comes to being a mage, it's at least fifty percent um, drama. It's part of the fun of it, really. Uh, you, plus, you can't can't give the um, the peasants the wrong impression. You know, I think they might not look up at you with the same level of fear and respect if you just sort of went around with a, a, a you know a cardboard pentagram. Anyway, uh, I don't think there's much I can do this do this with do with this for the moment. No, I still have the silver ring. I should go sell that. Um, I don't have any enchanted items to disenchant, so. Although, frankly, at this point, I would be a little more inclined to just sell any enchanted items I had. The kid bothering you. I think he might be royalty, so I'd better not get involved. Sorry. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I think I saw a general trader in town, so why don't we go and, uh, excuse me, um, Adam, I, I, I just, I can't, uh, and I can't get the sword of my ass of flowers. Um, well, it's a lovely day, isn't it? So let's see. General goods, yep. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Uh, thanks. Alright. Do you buy things off pe- Ooh. Labradorite. That is valuable. Uh, anyway. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. I- I see. Um. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. Oh, I've noticed. All that matters is that I have what you need. 
and it's worth every septum. Oh, that's where we beg to differ, I'm afraid. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity. 13 oh, is a jade dragon. I mean, that's kind of... Yeah, I, you'd expect that to cost a lot of money. Um, but a bog basic amulet of Zenithar for 3,373 gold? I mean, really? 990 just for a garnet. I don't care if it's flawless. I, I 660 for a tent. Good. Oh my. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Um. Anyway. What can I sell you? Uh. Let's see. Festivals of Sky. I'll hold on to that. Um. A silver ring. There you go. Oh, Faringar's frost salts. I almost completely forgot about that. Um. Uh, let's go hand those over to Arcadia, shall we? Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I'll hold on to these wolf pelts because I can. Do come back. Yeah. Um, make stuff with them. God, I'm being gouged so hard on the price front here in Skyrim. Like, wow. They do not muck around up here, do they? Hi. Pardon me. But do I detect a case of oh, no, 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 no. I've got something for that. I checked, all right. It's fine. You're just trying to sell me some cure for something. Uh, but I do have some frost salts for you from Faringar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. What earth? Oh, would you? But I suppose you expect some compensation. Yes, please. Um, here. These potions should suffice. What have you given me? Illusionist potion, stamina potion, invisibility potion. Uh, okay. Take I mean, look. I don't really need the illusionist's potion. So can I just can I just exchange that for some gold? That'd be nice. Yeah. That could get me out of trouble though. That's for sure. Alright. Um Be careful out there. Yeah, I really, really will try my best to. Uh, let's see. The time is 10 a.m. I have 95. How am I? I feel like I'm poorer than I was when I walked into this town. Somehow. No. Well, actually, no. I only had about 40 gold by the time I arrived in Whiterun. But I'm sure I had at least 113 or so at some point. What did I buy? I need trinkets for your good yeah, I don't know. Um, <sighs> oh, the butter, maybe. Um, that's a thing. Do you have any more? Good to see you. A bit of this and a bit of that. It's vegetables. It's still vegetables. It's not trinkets. It's not a bit of this and a bit of that. It's vegetables. All right, I need to go find a rabbit. Yes, I do. I could probably. Oh, God, I thought he was talking to me then for a second. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky. I don't Hello. You Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I mean, this is not maybe. Um, do you want the forge all day? I that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Um, sure, fine. Thanks. I'm going to get paid for this, right? I don't want to sound like such a job's worth. I'm really not that kind of guy. But I really need the money at the moment. Um, what do you tell me about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Really, I... 
Sorry, I'm, I'm completely distracted by the novel method of uh, tanning you, you've, you've got going on here. There must be some... You oh gosh. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Uh, who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. Really? She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Uh huh. We are not welcome here in White Rock. Right. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Yeah, I'm a little skint, but um. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. That sounds like something I don't want to get involved in. Oh gosh, where's she? Oh, there you are. Um. Yes, your um, tanning technique. Very interesting. Must be very advanced level stuff, you know. Like you, you, you got to be so gentle. It you, you're you're scraping, scraping it so so gently that it almost looks like you're not scraping it at all, right? I, that must be it. Anyway, see, me, I'm just plunging this, the damn knife right in the middle of the thing. Um, <laughs> um, so this is why I'm a novice, clearly. Uh, right, I can make leather. Lots of leather, in fact. Um, which I could then make into more cloaks that I could sell or something. Uh, leather strips. Right, I've got some leather and strips now. Although, I'm not really sure what else I can actually make with all this. Uh, the crafting kit? Is that something I need? Or cloaks and whatever. A bandana, really. Um, ooh, a backpack! Now that's a thing. If I could get my hands on a... Oh, a couple of wolf pelts. I should have left a couple of wolf pelts. I could have made myself a backpack. Ah, uh, I'm a moron. I really am. All right. Well, I might run into a wolf or two in my pursuit of bunny rabbits. So, <sighs> right. Let's do this. All right, bunny rabbits. I'm coming for you. You just need one. Because all I need is another two legs, and well, as it happens, rabbits have two legs. Um, although stranger things have happened, you know, it's, it's really funny sometimes. In in this, I'm not going to jump down there. Um, in this world, how, when you you go you go looking for, well, I don't know, like you catch a butterfly, and you you wow, the Khajiit's have already packed up and gone, huh? Um, you grab a butterfly, and you, it turns out it only had one wing, for some weird reason. Or you're plucking a saber cat's eyeballs out, it turns out it's only got one eyeball for some reason. And what have you. I had a big thud then, I think it must have just been thunder. But, um, you know, we're in giant country, so... You can never be too careful. Um, hello Mr. Elk. You're not really what I'm after, but... <laughs> Damn it. Thought maybe because it was... Yeah, it's thunder. <sighs> it does occur to me. Is using... Lightning magic in the middle of a thunderstorm and the rain a good idea or a bad idea? There may be only one way to find out. Anyway... Rabbits. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> We're hunting wabbits. Believe it or not, Mr. Oh, hunting. Oh, it's not what I do. I don't hunt. I don't really see any rabbits. I see more elk. Will she just settle maybe for some venison instead? I have a feeling probably not. Strange racist lady running the tavern. 
Why am I even doing this? Oh, because I need the money. That's why I'm doing this. Let me carriage ride to Winterhold. Rabbits. Where are them rabbits at? Not having much luck, am I? Uh, oh, those are giants. It's kind of like virtually the opposite of what I'm looking for. Um, all right, so I know how I said like a bit of rain never bothered anyone. Even I have my limits, okay. Annoyed I may be, but this is pushing it a little bit. Dramatic thunderclaps. You trying to make me feel like a madman or what? I'm charging out the gates. Ah, you're death to the bunny rabbits. Loud crack of thunder. Anything behind the... Ah, oh, I'm soaked now. You never know. Narrative convention dictates that there's always something behind a waterfall. It's worth checking. Narrative convention is not a thing to be sniffed at. It does occur to me as I stand out here in the rain, inspecting this dead giant, that I could probably buy a couple of rabbit's legs. And still turn a profit. Probably. Maybe? I don't know. Food's pretty expensive, actually, now, now that I think about it. But, uh, you know what? It beats being stuck out here in this mess. So, uh... Hello. Iverstead. Winterhold, yes. Winterhold. Based on my short trip from Riverwood here to Whiterun... I do not fancy my chances walking all the way to Winterhold. I don't think I'll make it a single kilometer before I find myself becoming wolf food. So, um, I'm going to go find someone at the marketplace who will sell me a couple of rabbit's legs so I can go hand over this note and maybe make some money. And hopefully, if I do that, I'm also going to hand over this damn sword that I somehow forgot about. Um, <laughs> whoops, nearly walked off with the Yarl's sword. That would not have ended well. I mean, wow, it is, it is a very nice sword, I have to admit, actually. Ah, uh, I was going to walk off with any sword. That'd be a sword to walk off with. Look, it's worth 200. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, 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 I, um, we go hand that over before I forget and get accused of stealing it, which would. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still stealing if you even if you do it accidentally, right? I think so. I am. Um, I mean, no disrespect, Mr. White Run Guard, but I'm not sure how much confidence I have in the judicial system of Skyrim. Um. And I say this as a Nord myself, but yeah, it mostly seems to come down to You stole my sword, now you die! Um, as opposed to a, uh, you know, a, a court with a jury and uh, a fair trial and what have you. So, um... Ah! You, sir! No, what is it with you people and trinkets when you really should be saying food? War, raw rap... You only have one. Is this some kind of joke? Seriously? What did you do with the other one? <sighs> you, you don't sell. Good to see you. It's good to see you too, Trinkets, but odds and ends. I, I really That's need... Okay. Oh, damn. Hang on a minute. You have a roast goat leg there. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. <sighs> Be careful out there. Yeah. Damn it! Alright, let's go hand over this sword at least. Oh, 
he only has one rabbit leg. I, it's, it's unbelievable. Wait, I, know you. I don't like the way these guards are saying that whenever they say that. Are they saying that because I've done something wrong? Or are they saying that because, oh, you're that book in Riverwood who nearly got everyone killed by wolves. I remember you. Um, or I heard about you. Right, uh, Mr. Preventus Avenici is who I'm looking for, I think. Uh, where would I find a Preventus Avenici? That's the Yarl. I'm not going to talk to him. I might get, uh, executed for, uh, not using his proper title or something. Um, oh, hello. This looks like the fella. Excuse me, sir. I serve Jarl Balgrum as steward. Good. Uh, I have a sword for you from your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, you have other daughters? Weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgrum when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. That's what I wanted to hear. Twenty gold. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Hey, you bought me a whole carrot there, mate. Thanks for that. Um. All right, I got 115 gold. I really need like. I really need like another 50 at least to be on the safe side, don't I? Ugh. Sorry, Helgen got hit by a dragon again. Is that why it's burned down again? You know, there's just bad luck and then there's the universe trying to send a message somehow. I suspect this might fall into the latter category. Ugh. What else have we got around town then? While I'm out here getting soaked to my skin. Might as well. I hope they don't mind me grabbing all this, you know. It does occur to me perhaps the town authorities might take exception to me uh, systematically uh, destroying their uh, municipal flower beds. Um, now that I think about it. Um, but no one's raised any objections so far. They must just think I'm eccentric or something. Oh wait, no, I, I, I tell a lie. You only get to be eccentric if you're rich. Otherwise you're just mad. What's this place? Hall of the Dead. I don't really have much reason to be in the Hall of the Dead. And I hope I don't have any reason to be in the Hall of the Dead anytime soon for that matter either. If I end up in the Hall of the Dead prior to the age of at least 70. It's probably not going to be for a good reason, and this is very loud thunder. I tell you what, the sewers and everything is going to be overflowing. This keeps up. Hello, red mountain flowers. I need you for making magic potions. Yes, I do. It's funny how the old universally accepted color of magic is blue. And yet, for some peculiar reason, it's the red mountain flowers that make magic potions. Who says the gods don't have a sense of humor? So what's this place, then? The Drunken Huntsman. Maybe they sell rabbit legs? It's the Drunken Huntsman, after all. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Sort of. Um, why the name Drunken Huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much meat. Ah. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. 
He shot an arrow that pierced my... well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. I... <laughs> at your expense, I see. Well, fair enough. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Yeah, that's not really what I'm after. I really... Oh, you sell meat pies, apparently. Um... I... I... You sell... Your... Your shop's called the Drunken Huntsman and you sell CABBAGES?! I apologize for my outburst, but I am really quite at my wit's end here. My kingdom for a rabbit. Alright. Guess I'm going for a hike back to Riverwood. Who the devil are you guys? Wait, what? What the? Who? What? Why? What? What? What is going on? Oh dear. Um. We seem to be at an impasse. Yeah. These, uh. What did I do to deserve this? And why are you so afraid of water? Not that I'm complaining. Um. Frozen of Restore Magicka? Uh, that, uh, I think that mostly just tickled him. I didn't do much else. I am in... Ooh. I'm in trouble here. Um... Guards? Help? I'm being accosted by thugs in orcish armor for some reason. What is going on? Ooh. White run burrows. It's a good place as hide to hide out as any, I suppose. Come on. What on earth? Where am I? Oh god, this is really deep. Uh oh. Whoa. There's a Those are slaughterfishes. Corpses down there, I think. Ugh. Okay, where the hell am I? Now, you see what I was saying about how things in Tamriel are often bigger on the inside? Although, in this case, I think I may have come down a passage or two to get here. So... Who the heck are these guys? Um... Hello? Construction workers, okay. Sorry, am I interrupting? Guide to Imperial Infrastructure. Is that what you're doing down here? Uh, well. Nice to meet you. Didn't really mean to come this way. I'm sorry if I got in your way, it's just, um... There were some men trying to kill me, and, uh, well, here I am. I cannot see a damn thing right now. There we go. Okay. Where the heck am I, and where does any of this lead? And this, uh... We're gonna, I'm gonna call this water. It smells pretty foul. Course, the place seems to be overflowing, and I'm not surprised considering how much rain is going on outside. Oh my god, hello. You're rather big as mud crabs go, aren't you? Oh, okay. I can just about manage a mud crab. Go me. Um. To the White Run Sewers Plains District. Uh, okay. Where does this lead? I 
Are these guys calling themselves construction workers really construction workers, or are they construction workers in air co That's the well! I'm underneath the marketplace! Alright, well, I mean, that's, there's that mystery solved. I think I know where I am now, at least, sort of, in a very general sense. Not sure where this leads. I just sort of opened the gate without checking. Um. Ah. Oh, that is a skeever. Whoa! Multiple skeevers. Okay. I can deal with skeevers, apparently. Good to know. Whoa. Okay. Ancient coffins. Now this is interesting. I did not expect to find this down here. Carvings on the wall of something. Twin moons. Interesting. Lots of wolves as well. Huh. I wonder who's buried in these then. I never knew there was this crazy old labyrinth here right underneath my feet. Then again, I suppose Whiterun is a really, really, really old city. If what I read about it in books is true. Hmm, if I can get this open. Uh, you lack the skill to pick this lock. Oh, I think you'll find I'll be able to give it a good college try. Just a second here. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of tweak in there in the old mod configuration menu. Uh, don't ask me what that is. It's, uh, it's a very ancient secret knowledge there. The, uh, the inner mysteries of the universe. I shall say no more about it. And, uh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, so close. There's stuff in here. Oh, come on. I want the stuff. Yes. There we go. Success. All right. Lock picking increased to one. We've got a long way to go, haven't we? 